How's it going everyone? In today's video we're covering everything new for the brand new Apple Intelligence that got added this morning on iOS 18.1 developer beta. Let's get started. So here it is installed on our device. You can tell that it's enabled by just summoning Siri and it gets this cool new border animation. So this is currently running developer beta 18.1. And it's only compatible on iPhones, which are the iPhone 15 Pro lineups. So the 15 Pro Max and the 15 Pro, the one we're using here is the new blue iPhone 15 Pro. But leaving here and going back to the main menu on our device settings, if you scroll down, this is where you see the new Apple Intelligence and Siri new settings. And currently at the time of this video, you have to join a wait list to have access to this. So it seems to be very limited and to my understanding this is only available on in the united states because china as well as some areas in the eu do not have apple intelligence so they can't update unfortunately but later on down the line it will become compatible because right now the only language that supports it is english if you select a different language apple intelligence is not compatible and it's also compatible with apple carplay as well but in this new animation we also receive a new Siri alert. If we take our device away from silent and summon Siri again, it makes that noise. Hopefully the microphone was able to listen to that. Here, I'll move it closer. There you go. That's pretty cool. And the LED animation, the little outer ring, adjusts to your vocal levels, which is quite awesome. It really does stand out a lot, especially if you have a dark wallpaper. It even translate like what you're telling it in dictation form right above here because you can always tap to edit. Tap. So you can readjust anything in case Siri got something wrong, you can send out like a full message. Another cool thing is by having this enabled, if you tap the bottom portion right here, it will also pop up this new menu, which allows you to type to Siri. Now, if, in case you didn't notice, there is a new focus mode right here, which uses AI to limit your interruptions. So if we tap edit and go into our settings, It'll take us to this new reduce interruptions using AI and you can allow certain apps as well as people just like other focus modes. And this one's more interesting because I have it enabled right now. It's only alerting me with the important information that I should know about and the not so important information I really don't care about if I'm working right now. So I really do find this new reduce interruption features amazing for this new intelligence ability. Now, if I go ahead and text myself something real quick, whenever you receive a text message, if you click on it, this glowing effect is using AI to reply to like general quick messages if you don't have time to type up something yourself. And you can just reply just like this and you can share the feedback if it was consistent or not. In addition to that, if you type up like a long article, like if there's like a long paragraph of some sort, I just don't want to read it all. I could just highlight everything and select it because there's a now new writing tool option. By selecting here, you can either rewrite it for them Proofread in case there's any misspells, change the tone to friendly, professional, as well as if you want to summarize it or only highlight key points as well as list or create a quick table. So by selecting summary, it will summarize all of this and it does a really good job on doing so. And here, if you notice, even on an article, you could copy this to like paste this on like your note app, Excel sheet and etc. or share to like email to somebody or text it. And this works with text messages as well. So if someone texts you something very long, you can always just do that. So if I go to like 95 Mac as an example, click on something, they're highlighting the same thing what I'm covering right now and select like a whole subject, whole border, go in writing tool. We could proofread on their behalf. So if there's anything like grammar issues and stuff like that, it will basically correct you. So let me go ahead and show you an example how that sound looks like. So here's a sentence I just created. And if I want to proofread it in case there's any like grammar issues, I can select this new tool right here with the AI icon. Select this. I could change the text to be make it more friendly. And it basically did it automatically for me. I could reverse back to the original, make it seem professional or proofread. And it'll actually give me some grammar errors I could change while also using the arrow option to see where some things went wrong and where I could learn from a mistake. But if you still like to override it, you can always select use original. So this proofreading ability is quite amazing because this will basically end other subscriptions that's been available in the market like Grammarly as an example. 
So again, just highlight the text and you have the these three tools should automatically pop up with the suggestions or the whole entire proofread writing tool ability. Then if you ever receive an incoming call, it would go ahead and pick it up by selecting the call right here in the top left corner, you have the ability to record the call in and it'll start like a three second countdown. Right here, as you can see, counts a three second countdown because it's warning the other caller that this line will now be recorded. And all the audio notes that's being recorded here will be taking place and stored in your notes app. So once you're done with this conversation and go back in your notifications and we select the latest note notification right here, it'll label the call who you had it with and you can listen to the re-recording or actually click on the transcript as well. But since the conversation was pretty short, it didn't really capture much but this is pretty useful for all kinds of purposes. And then it doesn't just end there because on the mail app, if you open up an email, the AI will scan your most recent email address and will automatically identify what is a priority email so you don't overlook something on accident. That's a pretty cool ability. Any email message you select, there's a new summary ability right here. So if you receive like a very long email or a promo going on, it will summarize it all right there, right above you. So you don't have to actually read or look for all the information down here. It does it all automatically with AI. But moving back and going into messages, your emoji icon now, we have those large emojis yet again. So these have returned, but other than that, that's everything new for Apple Intelligence. Currently, this is not Apple Intelligence with ChatGPT, nor is this the new advanced Siri, where it's like super smart. Unfortunately, it's very standard Siri, just with new animations, new tools, and new smarter integrations. But the official release should be released alongside the launch of the iPhone 16s sometime during September. That's when we should see the perfected version with ChatGPT integrations, as well as more improvements with Siri itself. Then as for the AI image generation, that's not available yet. Uh, maybe the beta 2 version of this developer beta, maybe sometime next week or two more weeks. We should probably see that integration get added, including like the ability to quickly generate memojis or custom emoji icons as well. That's coming out very soon. But right now, again, we just got new word tool ability with Apple Intelligence, the cool new animation, CarPlay, integration, which is kind of cool. I'm actually enjoying it after just a couple hours I've been testing it out on my mobile device. It worked pretty solid for a developer beta. In terms of reliability, so far I haven't experienced any bugs or overheating issues like I previously did on the developer beta 4. This one seems like Apple is trying to probably work out all the bugs and make this into a very solid beta update by far. But other than that, there you guys have it. Now you know everything new that came out today for 18.1 developer beta. But if you'd like to watch more, highly recommend checking out that video over there where I go through all the new changes on the latest version of iOS 18.1 for Apple CarPlay. Thank you so much for watching.